Hi, it's Sachi. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how I sew a pair of socks for my daughter. Her shoe size is 2 or 3 in US kid size, about 20 centimeters from toe to heel. I developed these patterns by tracing the exact shape of her feet. If your kids have similar foot shape, this might work for you too. So I made it downloadable on my website. I wanted to recycle this t-shirt my daughter grew out of and it also had stain that doesn't come out in the wash. I put patterns around the stain and managed to cut out all the pieces. I used notches to match the stripes of the fabric. I made these patterns from cardboard paper so it's easier to trace with chalk. And I trace around the patterns before cutting because it's easier to cut this way when the pattern pieces are complicated shapes. First, put upper heel pieces onto the heel part of the sole pieces. Make sure to put right sides together and sew the bottom curve. I use 4 thread serger, but if you don't have serger, you can use lightning stitches or small zigzag stitches on your regular sewing machine. I only had 3 of the color I wanted, so I used a different color on the second needle. I found that it was difficult to try to rotate the small stretchable pieces to sew the curve. What worked for me was to stretch the left side as much as possible with my left hand and push the right side forward with my right hand. Now this part is a bit tricky, but lay the upper pieces like this, right side together, and sew the straight edges. Open up the sewn pieces and fold out the dipped area on the upper pieces like this. Also, fold down the loose area of the small heel piece to attach the upper piece to it right sides together. I know it's a bit confusing, so let's do this again on this side. Open up, fold here, open here, and put them right sides together. At this point, I realized that I made a mistake on calculating the small heel pieces, so I'm cutting off a little bit of fabric so the seams match perfectly. This is fixed on the downloadable pattern, so you don't have to worry about this. 
When you sew side seams, I recommend laying all the seam allowances toward the toe area because I think it's more comfortable this way when you're putting on the sock. This is a cuff piece. You sew the short edges together to form a round and fold it in half. But it was clear to me that this fabric was not stretchy enough for the cuff. So I decided to cut out cuff pieces from another fabric, which was rib knit. Rib knits are very stretchy as you can see. I fold like this to reduce the bulk of the serger seam. Now find the center back and align it with the seam of the cuff piece. You need to stretch the cuff to fit the opening of the sock. Using a needle with a big opening, hide the serger ends. Conclusion, some of the t-shirt materials are not stretchy enough for making socks. I made more pairs using green knit, which has about 30 to 40 percent stretch and the red rib knit which has almost 100% stretch and they both work great.